My name is Jenny Smith and I am a quilter and author from the north of England. I live on the edge of Ilkley Moor. I've been quilting for about 15 years. I learnt when I spent a year over in Toronto. Teaching for about 10 years now and just finished my first book with Lucky Spool which is quilting with Liberty Fabrics. So the gallery here at Festival of Quilts in 2021 is showcasing all of the quilts from the book. So I studied art history and Italian at university and I've collected Liberty Fabrics since I was eight years old and my nan used to take me to the mill shop over in Lancashire and I used to buy little bits and I had a, the idea for the book a few years ago now was because as I learned more about the history of Liberty and the company, it started in 1875 and um, started to work with the design studio on their quilting cottons and then came up with the idea that for the book I could actually tell the history of Liberty through 15 quilts project so one for every decade from 1875 right up to the present day which kind of sounds an easy thing to do but then in the end obviously it was kind of two two years of work so Liberty I worked together with them it's like the first official collaboration ever on a quilting book worked with the design studio had access to the archive which has got like 50,000 prints and started to do a lot of research as to what the quilt designs would be so for example this one behind me is the first quilt in the book and it's called Arthur after the founder of the company who was Arthur Liberty he was the son of a draper and he set up he worked for the East India Company when he was a young guy importing silks asked for a promotion and didn't get one so he set up his own shop across the road and the rest is kind of history but from really early on he commissioned people to design prints for the fabrics that he was importing and the peacock feather which is very iconic and connected with Liberty still today there's a print called Hera which is really beautiful was the inspiration for this quilt design so we designed like me and Kay Walsh my studio manager we designed all the quilts together so they're all completely original quilts that you can make but all the stories about why we chose the you know came up with the ideas and everything is in the book so this is like the aesthetic period beautiful a time when people I guess were over the ugliness of the industrial age and there was all these gorgeous exotic motifs in art and literature and everything at the time um, and these peacock feathers were really really popular so we made this kind of look like a big liberty print scarf um, at the time and chose the colour inspiration from that so it's traditionally pieced and and then it was quilted on a long, a long arm frame so it took a lot of hours but it said people seem to like it <laughs> Another quick example is that actually I don't know if people would know but they call Liberty sometimes the mothership. People love to go there, kind of make pilgrimages to the haberdashery and everything. But the actual height and width of Liberty, the building, is the same as HMS Hindustan, one of the ships which the timbers from were used for the interior of the store. So again, there's just all these, all this history, all these stories in, you know, in the building itself. And that was the inspiration for, for this quilt, which has got a nautical theme. So there's a mariner's compass in the center. And then these blocks are called storm at sea blocks, which is nice and fitting. And they're actually all straight lines when you stitch them together, but look like rolling waves and then a starry night sky. So this is a more technical quilt in the book. This is foundation paper pieced. Um, but again, it was, you know, it's a nice, nice story. And when we did the photography for the book, we were actually allowed into the Liberty store. The team came over from the US to take all the photographs. Um, and we've got one of this like on the ship's timbers inside the store as well. So there's kind of lots of nice little things like that in there. So this might not look like a traditional Liberty quilt and that's good because we really kind of wanted to challenge as well what people's ideas about Liberty are. This one's called Blake and the fabric on the back is called Blake and it was done by the design studio two years ago now and it was based on how the light filters through the leaded windows of Liberty. So they designed the fabric and because this book's like an official collaboration with Liberty we could lift the fabric design and turn it into a quilt design so you can see at the bottom here this is like in the solid fabrics it's pretty much a replica of the of the fabric itself and then we did it in some crazy eclectic Liberty prints as well so just showing people that it can be traditional it can be modern and pretty much everything else in between this is the book in real life it's a obviously hardcover 
and yeah there's 15 quilt projects in there chose nice end papers this is a liberty print called london fields which was one of my favorites i used it in the book and was able to choose that and did it with lucky spool who are in the us because i, I kind of approached them because i love the the books that they've made in the past they've done carolyn friedlander's quilt book and just lots of really really nice ones and you know it's the first book i've ever done so they've got a good team of technical editors and everything because it was a bit of a scary prospect to be honest to undertake this so really nice to have their support and um, yeah it's been so lovely to to share it with people and what I wrote on the back is this thing about like nobody has a casual fling with Liberty Fabrics it's kind of a, a true love affair and that's what you find you know like I said I've been collecting them for over 30 years and when I meet people in my quilt groups or through teaching or everything you know there's something about liberty that draws people back it's it's partly the heritage i think and the history and the archive but also they're a really forward-thinking company you know like they're doing collaborations with gucci and crocs and different fashion designers and you know there's there's always there's always a story and a history and i think for me that's what I love and, and that's what people love as well but then people are scared to actually cut into the Liberty fabrics so that's the other thing I was like but true love requires sacrifice you know like to make things to make garments and quilts from fabric that you love is worthwhile you know I think it's just sometimes people get a bit daunted so I hope that the book kind of encourages them to get over that and and get cutted into it and making some nice things <laughs>